Hey guys, welcome back. So last week we saw the first look of Samsung's premium beast, the Galaxy Z Fold 4, which was pretty similar to the current Z Fold 3. Now some details regarding the camera sensors have been shared by an tipster and this configuration is looking properly balanced. But before we jump into the video, I wanna say that if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to get more daily updates and give a like if you enjoy watching this video. So recently, iCineverse shared some information regarding camera camera lenses for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 which will have a triple camera setup on the rear side without any camera housing. Previously, it was rumored that this phone will get a huge 108 megapixel camera like we have on the S22 Ultra but it seems like that won't be happening anytime soon. I says Samsung's Fold 4 will have a 50 megapixel primary shooter with optical image stabilization, a 12 megapixel ultra wide for the wide angle photos and a 12 megapixel telephoto with which can go up to 3x optical. And shockingly, this zooming camera is better than the S22 Ultra's 3x telephoto sensor and even the best 3x camera on any Samsung smartphone right now. But again, overall in zooming, S22 Ultra will be the king because of its another 10x periscope lens. The other lenses are also very good which are directly taken from the regular S22 and S22+. Plus. Now coming to the selfie shooter, Samsung might use the older camera cameras means 10 megapixel on the outer display and 4 megapixel under display for the inner screen. However, some changes like better low light photos could be done by software to improve the poor low light performance that we have on the Z Fold 3. Talking about the battery section, Z Fold 4 brings same size as we have on the Samsung's Fold 3 which is 4400 mAh and for the smaller Z Flip 4, Samsung has increased the capacity from 3300 to 3700 mAh. MR. Moreover, recently Bia 3G certification in China also reveals the maximum charging option and surprisingly these devices still offer up to 25W charging speed. Some people have no complaints with it because Samsung's 45W charging has no significant improvement over the 25W so it's good to see that they are not playing around with bigger numbers. Now jumping onto the performance part, it is also confirmed that Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 both will get the Qualcomm's high-end CPU, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus, which is also officially confirmed and will be launching on 20th of May, where Qualcomm will also announce a new budget CPU, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1. This CPU will provide mid to upper mid-range performance, so Samsung's next mid-range smartphones might be powered by this CPU as well. So that is it in this video guys, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you feel about the Samsung's Z Fold 4's camera configuration? If you enjoy watching this video then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as well. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace out.